Hey everybody, I'm Wade Bearden. I am one of Sermonary's co-founders, and I'm gonna share with you in this video some of my favorite Bible commentaries. Bible commentaries are so important. We've been given as preachers an incredible charge, an incredible responsibility, and we need to make sure that we're doing everything we can to study God's word and Bible commentaries will help us do that. Now, in this video, I'm not gonna get into some of the technical Bible commentaries. Instead, I'm gonna focus on Bible commentaries that any pastor can use. If you wanna get more technical, you can do that. These commentaries are a starting place. Now, these commentaries don't ignore big technical arguments. Instead, they give it to you in plain language. They don't get bogged down. The first commentary I wanna recommend is the new Bible commentary. Every pastor should buy this one volume commentary. It was just recommended to me recently and I love it. It's like a study Bible, but on steroids. And what I love about the plain language is it cuts to the point of what the passage actually means and it helps me as a pastor as I communicate that to my audience. They're not Bible scholars. This commentary helps me to talk to them like they're not Bible scholars. If you can only own one Bible commentary, it's gotta be the Expositor's Bible Commentary set. This is an incredible set that spans the Old Testament and the New Testament. There are a lot of different volumes. It's good to just invest in the entire thing. I love this commentary set because it's to the point and yet there's so much depth. Whenever I start studying a passage, I always begin with this commentary set and it helps me to understand those parts of the text that maybe I don't initially see. Another great commentary set that I think every pastor should grab is the Christ-centered exposition commentary set. I love the pastoral approach to this set. It's from B&H, Lifeway. It breaks down the passage, but also does it in language that you can utilize when you're communicating the text. If you're struggling to work through a passage of the Bible because it just feels so complex, pull open this commentary set and it will help you work through that passage and communicate better God's word to your people. Another great set that I think every pastor should look into is the Tyndale New Testament commentary set. Now, if you're looking for something that's super creative, it's gonna break a lot of ground, this is probably not your commentary set, but what I love about this is it's a great set to add to your library. So generally, I'll pull open this set, I'll read through it, pretty quickly and usually there's one or two ideas that I miss somewhere else that jump out at me. It's a great, quick, easy read and you can grab one for each book of the Bible. Another set that I use all the time is the NIV application commentary set. This is a fantastic set, but you have to be careful. There are some volumes that are better than others. Some that I really love on certain books of the Bible, others that I'm like, eh, it's only okay. What I love about this commentary set is it breaks down the passage and then it gives you real world application. So if you're struggling to find the application points from the passage that you're reading, pull this one open. It always gives me some really creative ideas of how a particular passage relates to our world today. Another set that I have a bunch of volumes of is the New International Commentary of the New Testament. Now, obviously this part covers the New Testament. They have another version that covers the Old Testament. I love to pick up certain volumes at certain times. This one is probably a little more technical, though it's really easy to understand. If you're really trying to dig into the intricacies of the text and maybe you're using Tyndale or the Expositors and you wanna go a little bit deeper, the New International Commentary set, whether it's the Old Testament or the New Testament, is really fantastic. I've given you some great sets that I generally enjoy, I find valuable. It's not exhaustive, but they're the ones that I go back to time and time again. The last piece of advice I would give to you is when you're preaching through a book of the Bible or a passage, to do some research and find some of the best commentaries on that specific book. And what you'll probably do is you'll hop around between different commentary sets, but you'll get some really good ones. For example, I was preaching through 1 Samuel, and this one from Dale Ralph Davis was fantastic. 
fantastic. It's the Focus on the Bible set, and I love this exposition of 1 Samuel. Fantastic. I also like the Pillar New Testament commentary set, and I found ones like this one from D.A. Carson on John are just fantastic. So, what you need to do is to find some really good sets that you're going to use all the time, and then as you're preaching through books or passages, go and try to find some just individual Bible commentaries that are well-received, well-regarded, and you can usually pull some great stuff from that. What commentaries do you use? Let me know. Did I miss anything? I'd love to hear from you, and I'm sure other pastors would be encouraged by your suggestions as well.